So hello guys and welcome to another video. And it's been over 30 years since the original gimmick or Mr. Gimmick in the West released on the Famicom and NES. And that game was absolutely incredible. It's my favorite NES game. I love the visuals and the music. The music is outstanding. I really like the gameplay. It's very challenging, but very satisfying at the same time. Like once you get used to the movement and the movement is very impressive for an NES game. Like it kind of uses like a momentum based movement system. It also has a star as well that you throw to either like solve puzzles, move around, or clear out enemies, and I just think it's a very fun mechanic overall. But it was recently announced that it was getting a sequel, and I was really excited about that. Though when the gameplay first was revealed, I was a bit skeptical of it because the art style did look a bit off to me, but now that I've played it, I really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying the game so far, and I would say this game is just as good as the original in my opinion, at least in terms of a gameplay perspective, because I think they mostly kept the momentum based movement intact. I feel like it, it feels really good, and honestly I feel like it even feels more refined than the NES like the original game on the NES. I mean, it kind of makes sense since it is like a modern game, but I, I just appreciate that they kind of mostly kept that intact. And also like the star feels basically the same as well. Like I, one of the things that I really liked about the original game when using the star is that you'd have to position it in a certain way in order to kind of like either ride on it or get over to like different areas or clear out enemies. I, I feel like there was a bit of a strategy to it and that's definitely still here in Gimmick 2. So I, I really like that they've retained a lot of the gameplay and the structure of the game I would say is pretty good as well. I feel like it does retain some of what made the original gimmick kind of fun like there are like different segments that you have to go through that are kind of separated by like different pipes that you go through it's kind of similar in that aspect but they did change some things around where it's kind of a bit more like um a bit quicker between kind of like restarting different areas and there are no lives this time which i think is good like, because I do think lives are outdated, and especially for a game like Gimmick, I feel like lives are definitely a hindrance to that game. I feel like with the original game, it was super difficult, so I feel like kind of like having the restart completely multiple times is a bit annoying. So I, I feel like it's definitely best for Gimmick to not have lives, I would say, just in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I think, like, the structure is pretty good overall. Like, the fact that you can restart, like, short segments, kind of, like, having, like, different checkpoints and things, it almost reminds me of, like, games like Celeste a little bit, um, or Meat Boy and different things like that. So, kind of, like, those challenging games that have, like, quick bursts to them, but for Gimmick 2, it kind of like ties that together and kind of makes it feel like one big, like coherent level. So I know not everybody is going to like that change because I know the original Gimmick kind of had like a quick, short, arcadey kind of feel to it. And that's not as much as the case in Gimmick 2, but I honestly don't mind that. Honestly, I was really... The most of what I wanted from Gimmick was, like, the puzzles and gameplay to stay intact, which they mostly have. So I'm happy with that. So I don't really mind the structure to change that much. Because, like, the level design is still, like, kind of what you would expect from, like, Gimmick. 
but it, it's just kind of structured a little differently and i kind of appreciate the change a little bit like i don't think they really should have done like exactly something like the original game because um i mean like while it still would have been good if they did i feel like it, it's definitely more appealing to like more people if they kind of structured it in the way that they did for gimmick 2. Like, I, I think it's a pretty good compromise, I would say, to have, like, the longer, um, segmented level structure. While also having, like, the gameplay and puzzle design that was kind of expected from, like, the original and everything. And one thing that, that I like about the levels in Gimmick 2 is the fact that there are a lot of collectibles here. I think it's really cool that Yumitaro can have some customization. Like, there are a lot of, like, really cool colors and hats that you can put on. There's even a Kirby color. There's even a Kirby color. It's, it's amazing. So, like, the the fact that they, <laughs> they knew that gimmick was compared to Kirby quite a lot, I think that's pretty funny. But the customization in collectibles is really cool and I also really like the enemies as well like they, they definitely kind of expand upon the idea from the original game that they have a very good um like CPU and they kind of like chase after you and kind of do more like complex and interesting movements that kind of catch up with you I'm, I'm glad that they kind of kept the enemy AI kind of similar to the original and kind of expanded upon it. I, I think that's pretty cool. But another thing about this game that has been a bit controversial is the art style. And I can kind of see where people are coming from, where they say like, oh, it kind of looks like a WiiWare game or a mobile game. But it's, it's not as bad as people are saying. I think it looks pretty good in some areas. I like how Yumitaro looks, I like how the enemies look, and some of the backgrounds look pretty good as well. I think it's just like generalization for that kind of style of games, because I feel like it can be pulled off pretty well, and like, even though it's not exactly what people were expecting, I still think it looks fine. I still think it gets the job done, and like, looks pretty good in a lot of areas, but yeah. And another thing is the music, and the new compositions for this game are great. I'm so glad that they got um, David Wise to compose for this game, I think that's really cool. And I don't like the remixes of the original songs as much, they're not bad, I would say, but I would say I probably like the originals a little better from the original game. But. The music, I would say, is pretty good overall, from what I've heard. And, yeah, I, I just think Gimmick 2 is a pretty good game, I would say. I'm definitely surprised at how good it was, because there were so many ways that, like, a reboot of a classic game series, or a sequel to a classic game series, can go wrong. But I think this was designed pretty well, and I think it, it definitely feels like a gimmick sequel, I would say, even though structurally it is a little different. It does retain a lot of the things that I liked about the original game. And one thing that is definitely retained here is the difficulty. There's actually two difficulty options now. There's like one kind of like more um like normal, kind of easier mode, and then there's also and then there's one that's kind of more on par with the original game, and I really like that they did that. I think that's a great accessibility option, and it also makes the game more appealing to more people. So, I think that's definitely a pretty cool change. Like, the difficulty selection menu is even like a little thing where you have to jump onto the platforms to get like the harder difficulty. So I think that's really cool. And there, like, there are a lot of like, pretty challenging areas like one of the special items that you have to get in like the second level was a pretty cool platforming challenge like with some puzzles as well like i had to keep trying it like quite a few times because it was kind of difficult but 
it, it was great overall and very satisfying when I did get the reward in the end. So I, I think it has that similar appeal to the original game, I would say, and is just pretty good overall. I, I'm really enjoying Gimmick 2 so far. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.